Welcome back to Growing Pains, episode 10. Um, this episode is the precursor to the most intense episode, I guess I could say, of all episodes, because this leads to my first time using heroin, and um, Stephanie passed out in the restroom, and just me having to come up with some big decisions and really just look at, look at everything that's going around me and try and figure out what is really going on. So, um, throughout all of this, I was in contact with my ex that I was with for seven years and I always felt like, are we going to get back together? Is there a possibility of us getting back together? that I was just kind of lingered in my mind because we did see each other off and on throughout the time that I was living out in that area and um, towards the end I just I, I just knew that if I was going to sober up and get away from any extracurricular activities that involved drug use or a new type of drug use, I just, I, I couldn't do it. I just knew that I was worth more than that, and I had to impact the whole situation. And that's what I did. But, um, just stay tuned. Know that the next episode was pretty heavy for me to screen, even just recently. I, uh, wow, you know, I was left kind of like, wow, you know, I really overcame a lot. And uh, it's not something I want to go through again. So, you know, there's your whole process of uh, elimination there. If you're going to eliminate that, which is so toxic for you, you need to start somewhere. And I finally figured out that I needed to just cut away from everything that was triggering me to use and um, it was a big step and it took other things happening in my life not just me realizing that I need to stop using and cut off certain um, acquaintances but uh, really to just look at the entire situation as a whole and say you know what this, this enough is enough, Jackie. This is, that's it, Jax. You know, like, something you've got to give. And, uh, next episode is pretty intense. And after that, I think things really started changing. And during all of this, I wished that I'd been really close to any and that just wasn't possible. It shouldn't have gone with her life. You know, in, in most aspects, but, um... So, uh... There was a lot of pain involved in, in sorrow, and... I reflected back on my journal from a few years ago, and this is... This is what I have to share with you today. God. I don't understand the depth of my pain today. I keep slipping into thoughts of yesterday. The torment from my ex and her manipulation antics, their verbal abuse and belittling. Not far from those thoughts is the infestation of doubt from people I was supposed to trust in your name, dear God. It all came crashing in on me, my spirit crushed in gloom surrounding my heart. I know that there is a calm after every storm, but this is one storm that's been raging for months. I will not cease my prayer, supplications to receive your divine strength to overcome this immense sorrow. In the 
leads into 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10 and 11. For godly sorrow produces repentance, leading to salvation, not to be regretted. But the sorrow of the world produces death. For observe this very thing, that you sorrowed in a godly manner. What diligence it produced in you, what clearing of yourselves, what indignation, what fear, what vehement desire, what zeal, what vindication, and all things you proved yourselves to be clear in this matter. And that pretty much uh, got me thinking about the pains and sorrows that I was going through even today. The pains and sorrows that I go through today. There's scripture that I just... If I were to look back, and look at all my toughest times, I got through because of a higher power, because of my faith, because I do believe in a God. I do believe in a creator. And whatever it is, it really just makes you feel so connected that leads you and guides you. You stick with that. I stuck to scripture and journaling, and it helped me get through some of the toughest times. But, um, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll see you in the next episode where it gets really intense. I, I've never been a heroin user. I don't do heroin. I just, I don't do drugs anymore. And, um... Just seeing where heroin could have taken me was pretty in-depth. I can't imagine that kind of high where you just zone out and you lose touch with the world. That's just, I, that's a high I could never understand after I attempted it more than once, twice, after this next episode. We'll see. I just, I have to be awake to experience life, to experience the world around me. I just, that's one high I could not connect with. And fortunately, there's a lot of people that do. They just don't want to be here. They zone out, they tune out. But to what, I'm not tuning out. So I'll see you in the next episode of Growing Pains. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. There's no Friday, August 26th. It's going on 12 in the afternoon, and I'm feeling pretty crappy. I called Planned Parenthood try to make an appointment to get checked for STDs and they referred me to uh, I think it was like Kern Women's Medical Group and since I don't have health insurance right now I'm looking at spending between 150 to 240 dollars which I don't have I do get paid tomorrow so I may take a drive up to see my primary doctor and maybe pay on my balance there and see if they can help me out. The last two days, which includes today, I just feel tired, fatigued, and my throat hurts. It hurts pretty bad. I gotta get this taken care of. I gotta check. A mí siempre me ha gustado la música en español. Pues fue mi primer lenguaje. En particular la música de Enrique Iglesias. Tiene varias románticas y baladas y me imagino lo que encuentro escuchando su música es mucha pasión 
Esta canción se llama Para qué la vida Es una de mis favoritas Una de sus mejores Tal vez puedo decir que yo soy un poco fanática del amor, pero así es. El amor, la pasión, viene con dolores el corazón. Alright, today is Sunday the 28th. I went to the gym today. Um, Scott uh, spent the night, I guess, but never really like slept because we all stayed up. Um, watching a movie called Doris and just you know BSing and of course Stephanie doing her usual and when I say doing her usual I mean doing her usual and of course us the other stuff I mean her as well so this is life after Annie hello no commitment just uh, take care, take care, take care, take care of someone I want to be my girl. Take care, take care. And, wow, um, maybe someday, maybe someday, key of the place, maybe someday she'll do something nice for me. Maybe.